What's up guys, it's your boy Iron Josh and today I'm going to be working around my arena team. Currently I'm ranked 40 and so I'm going to be just messing around with some of the gear and kind of trying to climb a little bit and buying some of those extra tickets. Come on, let's jump in and see how far we can go. So I have been messing around with a lot of this and just to go back out, I did already buy my tickets. Right now we're ranked level uh, rank 40. For season one and just trying to climb as high as I can um, a lot of people don't actually care about the arena however coming from some 10 years of summoners war sky arena I kind of have a different opinion about how games will go when it gets to be a point where uh, people in season three are already looking for things to do people in season two are saying you know it's kind of still um, season three is too easy so in my mind that just says that like a lot of people are going to be looking for a little bit more competitive modes they already have a competitive mode in this game and i don't know a lot like i matched the same people like over and over the other day but i'm just gonna be messing around with a couple builds here um because i did get some new equipment if you guys saw the video yesterday go check that out uh, but i feel like some things could just be, be kind of fine-tuned here now, I am using the same team because I really, really like this team and it's helping me climb. Um, but for Tia, I wanted to switch Tia over to a crit rate. And because right now she's on crit damage and we want enlightenment and attack in here. So this is on Agak. And I think I can steal that. So that'll bring her up to 60%. And then crit damage. So what is this? This is... Uh, let me get rid of that. What is this? Attack, attack speed, skill haste. I like those. Um, that's on Megan. What do we have in here? Crit damage, enlightenment, defense. That'd be really nice. If I could get crit rate. Okay, so... um, I'm okay with this. Let's see how... Let's see what happens when we nuke it. Nuke, baby! Nuke on up! Got flat attack, two in that flat HP, one in the crit rate, and one in the HP. Uh, that is not the way we wanted to go. Um, Alright, so let me see. We basically just want crit rate, enlightenment, and attack. So I have this one on a crit damage. It rolled into crit rate and enlightenment. Alright, let's use that. And then let's see what we have here. If we go into uh, crit rate and attack at least. Quaesta has that one. What if we just use the attack? We have this thing here, which is not very good. What if I just go into crit rate? Zalop has it. Um, what if we have an enlightenment one? Megan, okay, so we really don't have a good one. What is this, attack? So let's see what we have for just regular old attack. That's the only one I have. Okay, so obviously I need to farm some more. And then we want, so this gives us extra enlightenment for her heal, but, uh, and flat attack, which isn't bad. But I wanna see, is there one that just gives me crit rate? Okay, so this is when we have a shield. Wait, invisibility, debuff immunity. No, we don't get shields. Okay, so that's okay. Um, do we have one? Okay, so what does this horse you do? Crit damage, attack, and crit damage. Basic attack has a 20% chance of gaining 35% extra attack speed. Um, I wish that was all the way powered up, right? But it's not, so what are you gonna do? Who's this on? Power, when the wearer uses ultimate skill to deal damage, it has a 75% chance of inflicting defense penalty one, and it gives defense and accuracy. What do we have that has attack percentage in there? Um, I mean, I guess I could just go into this, attack and attack. All right, and we got 2,000. That's gonna cost me 5,000 to upgrade all the way. Uh, we can put it up to 12 and then rip that. What's this one? Defense, extra attack speed. Ultimate skill has extra bonus damage. Hmm. And then how much does this cost? An extra five grand. So, Attack and HP and damage and the bonus skill, which is really nice. 
or I can go lightning damage derivative, basic attack, 30% damage uh, attack every six seconds. Huh. All right, let's take the bow. We will take the bow. And now we're at 67% crit rate, 85% crit damage. We don't have any skill haste. So let's see, can we get attack and crit rate in here? Um, attack, crit rate 14% on Cypress. We don't really need that. And then what does this one do again? This gives our basic attack healing. Oh, we don't want that. Um, so what is this armor? Defense armor, huh? Okay, well we definitely don't want defense armor. Let's go for attack. And wait a second. Is this what we're wearing? We're wearing this. What is this? Oh, why did that say defense? Okay. So we want attack, crit rate, and enlightenment. And so I can grab this, which does ignores the defense. Okay. So I would gain 10% crit rate. I would lose 200 attack. Wow, I would lose a lot of stats. Um, I don't even gain my, uh, I lose 20 enlightenment. Wow. Okay, um, and what does this do? It deals damage. Oh, the true damage. Yeah, we like that. We like that. So, okay, wait a second. Crit rate, crit damage, HP, enlightenment. These assassin gloves. Replace. Now, why? Here's the thing. Here is the thing, right? Like, we, I really wish I could... I really wish I could just refine this in here. Forge at the camp to, yeah, why? I, I don't understand why we have to go back to the camp, but whatever. All right, these assassin gloves, we're gonna try and go back to our camp. We gotta go all the way out, go to the camp. This is something they should really work on. I mean, just make you, like, this, this, this is, I, I, don't, I don't know why any company would do this. <laughs> All right, uh, we are looking at gloves, and it was these ones. Oh, well, they were just attack gloves, too. Okay. Um, and she was wearing the true damage ones, right? So let's go ahead and pump that up. And it rolled into HP, that's horrible. Okay. Now I can go into my bag. All sets. Gloves. Confirm, I guess. These ones, refine. Let's see when it goes up to... All right. Take me five screens. Uh, and it rolled into enlightenment. Okay. I don't know. So now I have to go all the way back because, yeah, for whatever reason, they didn't add that into the game. Um, okay, so let's go back into Tia. And if I put those gloves on, we gain 12 enlightenment, we lose 71. In These are crit damage gloves. Um, but I can hit this, which is nice. So, enlightenment is 14, defense is 73. Attack, so this has defense percentage. So I'd lose my defense, but I gain HP, I gain 600 attack, I lose 33% crit rate, and I go a little bit extra crit damage. So is it worth it to get, I wanna see this. So it's 38% crit rate. 101. This is better than what I was using, just so you guys know. I was on crit damage gloves. I was on these gloves over here. Which maybe it's not better because they had a point in crit rate. They had two po oh yeah, they had two points in a defense, which I didn't really care for. These are crit damage with enlightenment, defense, and resistance. This is crit damage with HP. This isn't good at all. So maybe um 
Maybe we look at all sets again and go back into crit rate. We grab our attack, enlightenment, and it is these gloves here with the defense, with the two, with the two and the defense. I just don't like it. Crit rate, flat defense, attack, and enlightenment. Accuracy. Um, hmm. What do we have for crit damage gloves with crit rate and attack? I have these ones, which I think is the ones that I was using. With the double roll in the defense, it's just not very good. Let me just see what happens when I just go into crit damage gloves with attack. Have one roll in the defense, and two rolls in the enlightenment, flat HP. Those gloves, what are these? Attack, accuracy, defense, horrible. Uh, defense, whoa, okay, so crit damage gloves just don't seem to be the way. Crit rate gloves. We have HP double roll, attack, defense. Attack, two rolls in the defense is the one I keep seeing. Attack, HP, attack. So this is interesting. I, could, I would lose some but attack, but I gained 33% crit rate. Uh, hmm. Maybe we go this route. Enlightenment and flat attack. These could just be sold. Because, like, who cares about a Holy Hunter set? It's like the worst set I've ever seen. Um, yeah, you guys in the comments are going to be like, what the hell is he talking about? Worst set he's ever seen. He doesn't know what he's talking He doesn't know anything. Ah. <laughs> uh, so whatever man i don't care i think 33 okay so i gained that i lose 465 attack i think i like oh and i gained skill haste how do i gain skill haste there's no skill oh skill haste in that flat okay so now i have but i don't like this i want shoot we either want this, when the wearer's ultimate skill is fully recharged, it gain 30%. Yeah, we really just want that. <sighs> so what is this set called? The Gambler Flintlock? Let's see what we have for Gambler. We have a flat attack one, which could be sold straight up. Could it? Could it? Wait a sec. I gain HP, I lose just 300 attack, I gain 7%, I lose 12% accuracy. This is stupid. I'm gonna equip that. I hate how much I'm equipping that. I really hate how much I equip that. I should sell that. What's this one? I gain more attack, I lose a little bit of HP. I don't lose any crit rate. This is stupid too. I'm gonna equip that. Why do I have all these dumb ones i gain i lose eight percent crit rate but i gain attack enlightenment and i lose three thousand hp oh am i saying this is stupid because it's flat attack yeah i am i'm stupid okay so let's refine this and we roll twice and okay let's replace that that's actually really good. I was in gloves, and I don't realize I didn't realize that I was supposed to be in gloves. All right, let's just go to helmet then. So for helmets, Alexandra, let's see what we have here for just attack and crit rate. I got this one. Two into crit rate, one into HP, one into defense. So I would lose four crit rate. I would gain defense and HP. That's not even worth it. We have one that's just crit rate. Crit rate, crit damage, enlightenment. Okay. And that's our set. So we'll lose four crit rate, but we'll gain 23 enlightenment. I lose 341 attack. What does this guy have? Crit rate, enlightenment, crit damage. Wow. Okay, I think this is worth it for the crit damage. This has got two. I think that's the one we just worked with. Crit rate, crit damage, enlightenment. Okay, wait a second. I get my. I get my 5% crit rate back. I gain 26 resistance. Um, crit rate, accuracy, crit damage, resistance, defense. All right, we're gonna leave that. 
And now this one is crit damage with crit rate and enlightenment. I like that. This has crit damage, enlightenment. So I lose 51 attack. I gain a point here, 13 there. I think we're going to replace this. What do we have? Crit damage, skill haste, crit rate. Crit damage, crit rate, enlightenment with attack. I lose a point here. I lose 13 points here, but I gain some there. Hmm. Crit damage, crit rate, and HP. That could be decent. Crit damage, crit rate, and enlightenment. Let's go all in on this one. Uh, let's not. We're still, I'm, I'm learning about how money works in this game here. Skill haste is good. Resistance is crap. Don't roll any more into resistance. Yeah, like I said. Let's see what happens. Attack is really good. Okay, wait a second. Are we on to something? Flat defense sucks. Flat defense again? You trash. And it rolls into HP. Okay. Um, so we're going to leave the one we have on. And then we don't have any extra crit rate in it. Resistance. Defense. Resistance. Resistance. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Uh, he's using an HP one. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Okay. So I think Tia is about done. We're going to leave it 74% crit rate. 129% crit damage. Alright. We'll leave that for now. How's Quaista looking? Quaista is on quad set. And then what do we have up here? Attack, attack, skill haste. So I lose about 2,000 HP, I gain 400 attack, I lose some crit rate, I lose 27%, but I gain resistance and skill haste. Um, hmm. This one's a crit damage one, this one's an attack one with some attack speed. Crit damage with two rolls into attack. Attack speed and HP with four crit rate. Interesting. Why wouldn't I go this way then? Because I mean, what are we losing? Oh, we're losing a lot of crit damage. For, oh, but we gain the attack. We only have 60. It'll drop us down to 61% crit rate. It'll drop me down 80% crit damage. But she gains a lot of attack. If you're not critting though, what's the difference? All right, let's just see what we have here. Rarity, attributes, total HP. Let's just go crit rate. Atia's got it. Crit damage, crit rate, enlightenment, attack. So this one here, I gain 3% at crit rate. I only lose six attack, which isn't bad. I lose 2000 HP. I think I already looked at this one. We're gonna equip that and go with the crit rate. And then what's this? HP, attack, crit rate, skill haste. Yeah, we're gonna leave that. The eyeball's really good. Okay. I'm gonna come up here, attack, and crit rate. That's the one she's using. Okay, same thing here, T is on that. Let's see, what do we have here, attack. So I gain 8% crit rate, which is really good. That brings me up to 76% crit rate. I lose 176 attack, which I could live with. The 5,000 HP loss is horrible though. What's this one, attack, HP, okay. So I lose 3,000 HP, which isn't horrible. I gain a little bit of defense, I gain some attack, and I gain 8%. Yeah, we're going to equip that. And then these gloves, so this does a lot of the HP. Um, these gloves here, attack, gloves, crit rate. I think we're okay with what we're wearing. And then her armor, attack, HP, crit damage, crit rate, flat attack is fine. Okay, so that's good. Let's go up and talk to Ripicus really quick. How are we doing here, Mr. Ripicus? Okay, so what I would like to do for him... Heals the hero by 20% max HP after the wearer unleashes their ultimate skill. That would be insane. Uh, defense and necrotic damage, defense and attack. So what we really want, though, is defense and attack. And 
this would actually be kind of gnarly. 20% chance to inflict stun. Accuracy and resistance. Um, no. How about that? And then we don't have any there. We have these gloves. Okay, wait a second. Crit damage gloves. What's he on now? He's on defense gloves. So I would gain some healing. I would gain a lot of... I would lose a lot of HP. Uh, I would lose a lot of everything. I would just gain crit damage. Alright, we're not doing that. But wait a second. I have the wrong thing on. Let's go up here. I just want to see what I have. I have these and I have these. Okay, so that's not good. I need to farm more of these. Crit rate, crit rate, crit damage. Okay. So this one here, I gain some HP. I gain a lot of crit rate. I lose 900 defense, which is horrible. And then this one here, yeah. So we don't have anything there. Um, what about this? This is attack with defense. Wait a second. So I would gain some accuracy, I would gain some resistance, I would gain some attack. Um, and then I would be on the triple set. When the wearer takes 15% of the damage, otherwise it would be taken by allies while gaining 15% damage reduction. Only may trigger once. So he would help my guys live a little. That's an interesting thought. But I would have him on an attack build. And I don't know how I feel about that because he's just there to really do defense stuff losing 500 defense losing i don't care about the enlightenment we don't really we're not worried about crit rate i like the resistance what do we have up here defense and hp okay wait a second am i on to something i only lose 3000 hp i gain 170 defense i gain a little bit of there i think we'll go with this Yeah, I think we go with this. So now we have the triple set, and then we protect one of our other allies in the meantime. That's actually really good. Okay, and now he's on an attack one with attack and HP. And what we really want is attack. We can go, uh, let's see if we have anything with defense in here. That one's got defense. Let's see if we have this one. What's this? Flat, okay, so this is defense. Hmm. see what we have for defense up here we have this one with HP attack and attack speed this one's got defense and okay so this one's got attack in there let's refine this guy up and see what happens maybe we'll get lucky skill haste is really good okay crit rate okay not bad HP flat HP come on Oh, double rolling to flat HP. No bueno. Um, but if I do this one, I get crit rate, I get skill haste, and a little bit of defense. That's not worth it. Okay, so if I go into attack primary, and then let's just see if we have one that's got defense. It's the only one I have. All right. What's this one? This one's got flat attack, or attack speed and flat defense. Yeah, so basically the one I have in there is the best for him. Okay, and finishing off, we have resistance, defense with flat attack, resistance with defense, and resistance with crit damage. We're actually going to just sell this and get rid of those. Uh, we're going to sell... No, I don't want to lock that. I don't want to sell that. Okay. Okay. And then his Scarab is fine. Alright, so then we have to go up to Zarloth. Zarloth is on... What's this? The Troll? So, when the wearer gains... The wearer gains healing by 40% of the attack when launching a basic attack. Um... Hmm... Attack and Enlightenment. When the wearer's ultimate skill is fully recharged, they gain 30% bonus damage. So... Every fourth basic attack heals the ally with the lowest current HP by 300% attack. So you kind of want attack speed and 100%, yeah. That'd be kind of interesting. So if I put attack speed and attack on him, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, deals 380% necrotic damage to an area, which we want attack on there. 162 damage within range every one second with a 35% chance. Fears heals ally by 30% of attack in the meantime. Each enemy hit with this skill 
Increases the healing by 15%. So, I feel like we just want to go straight on, like, full-blown as high attack as I can with attack speed. So, let's see what I can do with just going in straight up. I'm going to go attributes. They don't have one for attack speed, so let's just go total attack. And then confirm. Firm. What is this? This has a little bit more. Oh, I guess crit rate would be really good too to do more damage. Um, this has a roll into attack and a roll in HP. All right, let's take. Um, we're gonna try and get. So what is this set? When the wearer deals damage, I have a thirty percent chance to deal. 5% targets current HP true damage up to 200% of the wearer's attack. You know something? This is on Agak. Accuracy, attack, crit damage. I would gain attack, I would gain enlightenment, I would lose 11% crit rate. Huh. When the wearer unleashes their ultimate skill, the allies gain 15% extra attack. That's actually decent. I like that. We gain HP, we gain enlightenment. He doesn't need enlightenment, he gains attack. Um, crit rate attack, I really don't care for this set, but the stun would be nice if I could stun people. Attack and lane defense, attack crit rate. Alright, for, for kicks and giggles, because I hate this set, uh, flat defense, never mind. Yeah, like I said, I hate that set. Um, attack, resistance, flat, 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 we're going to sell this one. Okay, um, didn't I just sell this? Okay, what's this one resistant? Didn't I just sell this? How are all these so bad and not disappearing? Attack percentage, didn't I just sell this? Hey, crit rate, okay. Let's see if we get lucky. Crit rate again. Crit rate again. Attack. And enlightenment. Hmm. That's very perplexing. Alright. Um. You know something? Just for funsies, we're gonna go on this little adventure together. HP, crit rate, crit rate, accuracy. Oh my goodness, and I don't have anything any. What do we have here? Defense, resistance, garbage. We have attack. Maybe we don't go on this adventure. This is flat attack. We can sell this. Crit damage, HP, and crit damage. All nothing good. Nothing good. Okay. So let's try and go into the platinum knight. Defense, crit rate, gloves with attack, defense, and enlightenment. We saw those before. Um, uh, hmm. We lose a little crit damage. We lose 20 skill haste. Let's replace these and try and get into some. Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger. Okay. And then let's go down here. Attack. Let's get some crit rate. We got nada. Somebody's got to do some farming. What do we have for just attack? Anything at all. Attack, attack, speed, attack. Okay. That was easy. That's my easy button. That was easy. Alright, what do we have here? Resistance. Oh my goodness. I just need to farm these so I can go back in. Okay, and what does this do? The wearer's battle skill gains 20% bonus damage. Attack and attack. Yeah, we're, we're going to leave that. So we're gonna try, we're gonna try this one, uh, Platinum Knight. We're going in with 73% crit rate, 91% crit damage. And unfortunately we have this enlightenment build. But, I don't know. I don't know. It's bonus damage though. 
I'll leave it for right now. Waste is built, Zarloth is built. I think Megan is okay. Tia we just built, where's Megan? Where is Miss Megan? This Megan's moment. Megan, defense, targets max HP, defense up and healing, recovery time. So I think Megan just needs skill haste. What do I have that has the most skill haste? Zarloth has that one. Crit damage, crit damage, enlightenment, skill haste, accuracy, attack. Defense, HP, skill haste 7. So I gained 7 skill haste. What is this one? This one's an HP one. Alright, we're not going to grab that. This one's a resistance with 2 into skill haste. I'd only lose 839. I'd gain some attack. Lose some crit damage. That's fine. Resistance is up. Attack interval. We're going to grab this one. And then the mirror is really good. Okay. So we'll leave that. She's got some skill haste in there now. So she gets her ult up a little bit faster. Alright. Let's go back in, and away we go. Nice damage from Quaesta. Okay, that's fine. People are living. That's fine. She's probably going to die. Yeah, she dies. That's fine. There we go. Alright. Now I think I lost this guy before, so we're gonna try again. With the new equipment. I feel like the new equipment, because you farm every week, and basically what I did is I saved all my equipment from last week to do a video for. And video didn't get any views, so whatever. So I don't know if I'll be doing that segment anymore, but maybe it'll just take time to grow. I don't know. I also need to shorten the video length up, I think. But anyway, uh, go check that video out for Smithy Saturdays. And it worked. We actually cleared that guy. So Scarlet King, I know I've lost to a couple times in the past. You kind of get to know people on your server. You go, Everybody's trying to climb. And, oh, Quaesta just didn't get her ult up in time to heal. Nice damage from Mr. Ripicus. Darius is going to heal, and boom, that guy's down. Who's that? Egeo, I think? I'm still learning everybody's names here. Nice. Good healing prohibition. Accuracy debuff. He puts on a lot of debuffs. Good healing, maybe. Okay, so we're having some... Garius is just gnarly. If you have Garius for defense, he's a great defender in the arena. Ooh, it's down to Megan versus a damage dealer. This isn't cool. That's not cool. Yeah, we're about to get popped. <laughs> yeah, I like how it froze on that, too. Alright. Um, yeah, three legendaries versus my one legendary. We're kind of just hoping for the best on that, right? Okay. We're going to put him here. Yeah, let's try that. All right, my ultimate goal is to always get her to run to the back line as fast as possible. But it doesn't really happen. But she does jump pretty fast, so it's cool. Ooh, she's about to pop this guy. And Horus always has a big old shield, but it doesn't matter because Quaist is just awesome. Oh my goodness. I love my I love a good Quaist. Alright. Love a good Quaist ult. So 
So she should go straight to him, he should go straight to him, and then she should start attacking him first. So we're gonna try and see what happens here. Yep, that's exactly what we want. And hopefully we don't, yep, so Tia, so Quaste did jump back to try and do some damage, but Tia made us invisible pretty fast, so that was pretty good. Their Sigrid is dead, so there goes their main source of damage other than Quaista. But our Quaista jumps back and gets <laughs> Quaista on Quaista crimes over here. Oof, 96,000. Alright, so we'll reroll Greg's. I don't remember. I know Greg's. I've seen Greg's name a few times around. Shout out to my, my man Greg's. But we're going to try and uh, hopefully beat Greg's. Oh man, Sigurd just pops Quaysa. But Gary should be dead here. Alright, so that just leaves a 4v3. They have Sigurd versus Tia and Zarloth for, as far as damage goes. And so Oris is going to take a lot. I'm worried about this Sigurd doing damage to me though. She could do some big damage, maybe. I don't have any debuffs, really. Okay, so she really only hits Ripicus because he was the only one that had debuffs. So if the other three had debuffs, they, she would have AoE'd that, but nobody else had debuffs. So that's cool. And we are just gaining our tokens over here really nicely. Stuck at rank 42 somehow. It's kind of interesting. I keep winning, but we're not really go. We went down in rank since the video started. Okay. That doesn't really make sense, but okay. Maybe it's because other people are trying to climb right now too. I don't know. But you would just think you win four battles in a row that you kind of climb in rank. Okay, Quaista got rid of the damage, heals herself. Exander's down. This is really good. Easy peasy. Okay, good crit from Tia. And we're almost to Silver Wolf too. Let's go attack Maria. So on this one here, we're gonna move Quaista down here. We're gonna move Ripicus here. So he should take him. She should run straight back, which is great. She starts doing damage. Oh, I wish she killed there. That would've been great. She might kill him before she ults. That'd be nice. Oh, she just used her ult on that guy, which is unfortunate. Vitalis is almost dead. There goes Thargarius, and easy wins here. Ooh, we're not we're not quite one, but we're gonna win. Ooh, nice try, nice try. All right, and we are up to the next round. So we're gonna move him here, or her there, I'm sorry. Darius there, and we're gonna try and just take out this Sigrid ASAP. So hopefully we kill Sigrid with our battle skill. Which we didn't. Uh, we really need to kill Sigrid! Please kill Sigrid! Please kill Sigrid! Nope, Quaist is done. T is done. We're gonna lose. Ugh. Look at that nice gnarly shield they got. Get rid of the shields! Oh, wait, we do we have a chance? We don't have a chance, right? I mean, we have Zarlov for damage. We have some Zarlov. Oh, they have heal block. This little fire guy, he's OP. He just walks right back and destroys you. Okay. I haven't lost in a bit. But that's okay. Shadow. Shallow Deep. Good for him. Okay, for this here, we want to draw him to attack. We want him to come over here. And so we're going to move her here. So she should, in theory, go after this guy here, Durango. I see a lot of Durangos in the arena. And that's unfortunate. She goes for the Oris. Ooh, but we're doing a lot of damage to Oris. Unfortunately, Quaist is dead. And they're gonna move right through our Ripicus. Okay, that was tough.
And I don't like this lineup, so... Because Barash, Quaesta, those are three big damage dealers. Do I want to do this? No, we're not going to do that. Another Durango. This is a lot of legendaries. However, I think we can do this. If I put him here and her there... Yeah, so she goes right up to the fur bath. Oh man, I really needed her to kill that Sigrid. Okay, so that guy is dead. The wizard guy is dead. Oh, come on, you gotta kill that Sigrid. Come on, Quaesta. Durango is just gonna do a lot of poison, but I don't think this Durango is built right. Or, the, yes, there we go. Wasted just did gnarly damage there, I'm pretty sure. 100. Oh, Zar Zarloth is doing a lot of damage. Zarloth is doing OP damage on some of these fights. Don't underestimate a Zarloth when you see him in the battles. Sigurd gets one shot right there. Love that. Sigurd got brought back and then died again. So they have a reviver. Ooh, man, this guy is just such a good tank. He's got heal block on, which is great. But he's done. And this mage guy dies really fast. Later, blue mage. Oh, man, the revives are real, though, aren't they? Oh, you gotta kill this girl, man. Alright. I don't think they have enough healing to stay alive. Because I'm just I'm just taking them down so fast. Zarloth with 47% of my damage. Like, you would think Quaesta one-shotting people would be enough. But it really is Zarloth coming in. doing. I think it's derivative damage that he's doing a lot of the damage on. Rupikis is just going ham. He's not even scrolled up, and that's the best part. Okay. This should be an easy win. We've been fighting a lot of these. I don't know if this person just kind of used their stuff to climb, but we have been winning a lot of these. Okay, so Zarlot is dead there. And they have, a, they have, like, the base team does work because it is Sigurd, Letalis, and everything, plus a nice healer. You can't really go wrong if it's built right. It's kind of an easy build also. And my Quaesta is just not really finishing. There we go. Oh, man, and Hexandra heals. Perfect timing. So their Sigrid is going to kill my Quaesta. So we don't really have much damage left except for Tia, who generally has a hard time cleaning up. She's cleaned up a couple battles for me, but not a lot. I don't know if this is going to work. It could be up to Ripicus. Ripicus and Tia combined, but that heal block is taking forever to get rid of. And we are just not doing enough damage to this Aorus. Stop hitting the Aurus. Stop. Yeah. That's a well-built... That's like your basic just goblin running team right there. Or not goblins. That's just your basic team right there. Just kind of built right and holding, holding the phone. Okay, we did get updated into rank 36. So that's good. And then this is the same team... But hopefully it's not built as good. <laughs> what did I just do to myself, man? Oh my goodness. And there it goes. Zarloth. You know something? I think I might move Zarloth to where Megan is. 
and put Megan where Zarloth is. Because I want Zarloth to live longer. And Ripicus is down, so they have two damage dealers and a nice tank. I have a healer. Oh, man. Yeah, two damage dealers and a nice tank is going to clean up. Unfortunate. Tia does try, but it doesn't work. I do want to try... Alright. We are going to try this one more time. <laughs> Definitely not against Scarlet King. We've already lost to Scarlet King. Maria again. I think I've beat... Yeah, we already beat Maria. Uh, we're going to switch these two, and we're going to move her up here. No, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna move her away from Zarloth. Because she's gonna have immunity more more so than anything. And then we're gonna put her down here. We'll set this up so that way that fight happens like that. And hopefully with this setup, we'll be okay. But apparently other people are trying to climb right now as well. That's looking better. We already beat this. Uh, I don't know why they have us fighting them again. That's kind of odd. But we just don't, we don't complain about free MMR. I'll take it. Oh, it might have dropped me down with my losses. I guess it does probably drop you back down. Alright, so this is the same team that we just fought. She does go to fight the Oris. And for some reason, she attacks the Oris with her ult. But, we lose our Quaesta. Here's the thing. This time, Zarloth is over here in the corner. So he shouldn't get involved with a lot of the AoEs that was before. And in fact, yeah, so they should go right for the Megan, more or less. Except for Sigrid just says, I don't care. And goes right for the Zarloth. Okay, so that didn't happen. And we're fighting pretty hard. There's Shallow Deep. There's Greg's. I think we beat Greg's last time. So we'll try this again. Oof. Nice. And then Quaist is coming up here. Nice and easy. There we go. And one shots the Hexandra. Beautiful. Trying to get into silver too. Okay, we beat this team last time as well. Uh, let's go up here like this and put him. I think we're gonna try and block her out, and so that she goes around to. Whoa, this guy zips around. <laughs> Whatever, whoever that was, that frost guy, he's already dead. Okay, there, that guy's already dead. I don't know why we're fighting this team. These guys, like, how? What? Like, we're just deleting these guys. I didn't lose that much rank. Like, we're almost up into silver, too. Getting super close to silver, too. I need, like, two more, uh, two more wins. Shallow Deep we lost to last time. Uh, I don't remember if we beat this guy last time. We'll try again. Durango? I feel like I do win against Durango's. It is when I fight Sigrid. Okay, so Sigrid... Oh, Sigrid lived. Is the Durango dead already? You can't tell who's dead on their team, which is kind of wild. Because the the loading and everything. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, it looks like it's a 4v2. I think we got this pretty good. And Hexander doesn't stand a chance. Beautiful. All right. That puts us one point below silver two. Are you kidding me, guys? All right. Uh, right. We'll try against the... Oh, my goodness. All right. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. I don't like going against Varesh. Because Varesh is like a serious counter to my team. But I do want to test out the items. Oh my god. Yeah, there goes Quaesta. No heals. And then they have a Quaesta that's just going to beat on my Ripicus. And it is a... Well, oh, it's a... it's a, Is it 5v... No, it's 4v4. Okay, so we did kill... I did kill somebody. Who did I kill? You can't tell. How do we tell? You can't tell. I don't know, are we winning? Are we gonna win? Oh, oh, are we gonna win? It looks like, oh no, uh oh. Here we go, this is close. Oh, Tia with the nice damage. Varesh tried his hardest. Gotta give credit to my man Varesh, I'm building him now. Wow, I can't believe I beat that team. And that puts us into silver two. All right, there we go, there we go. Scarlet Shinla. So I feel like this one person Scarlet has like three accounts or four accounts because they're all named Scarlet something. Um, hmm, do I try and be, okay, so Sigrid, you can't really tell, it's another Varesh. This blue guy dies. All right, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna put this like this. She should be going for this blue guy. She should be going for the mage guy, she does. So that's clutch. He's instantly gone. He's like the worst in the arena. I would not put that guy in the arena. Okay, so Sigrid's dead. And Ripicus is going to do some nice damage. We need Tia to kind of do some work. Okay, there's some damage. And Zarloth is still doing work, right? Our man Zarloth is up here. Quaist is already dead, so of course, like, there's that 2v3. Okay, Varesh is going to come in. This is why I don't like fighting Varesh, but we have the invincibility from uh, Tia. And there goes their Sigrid. It looks like we're going to finish in Silver 2. And we're going to keep climbing. There you have it. All right. And we're going to finish rank 30. So we went up 10 ranks today. All right, guys. Well... There you have it. That's how we're climbing up into the arena. Now we're rank 30. I'll catch y'all in the next video.